Today you will learn about 10 powerful stoic habits that can change your current year. These are not just theories, they are practical tools that have stood the test of time, helping many people to live a more fulfilling life. By the end of this video, you will learn not only the habits themselves, but also how to easily implement them into your daily life. Let's dive into the world of Stoicism and find out if it can improve your life. The first powerful Stoic habit is the art of perception. Stoicism teaches us that it is not the events themselves that worry people, but only our judgments about them. This habit is to perceive challenges not as hindrances, but as an opportunity for growth and learning. Imagine that you are facing a difficult situation at work or in your personal life. Instead of considering it a failure, ask yourself what it can give me. This shift in perception changes the game. It turns obstacles into stepping stones, helping you become stronger and more resilient. But how to make this shift? It starts in the morning. When you wake up, clearly set a goal to see challenges in a positive way. It's about saying to yourself, I'm going to face obstacles today, but I have the power to choose how I see them. It's not about denying difficulties, but about reframing them as part of your path to personal growth. During the day, practice this habit when something doesn't go according to plan. Stop and think. Ask yourself, how can this improve my problem-solving skills? What kind of resilience can I develop here? It's a stoic approach turning every moment into a learning experience. Remember, the power is not in external events, but in your inner response. Having mastered the art of perception, you do not just survive the storms of life, you learn to dance in the rain. Let's continue with this approach as we move on to the next habit that may redefine your current year. For now, let's focus on the power of control. This stoic habit consists in understanding the important difference between what is in our control and what is not. Stoicism tells us that peace of mind comes from focusing on what we can control and letting go of what we can't. Think about it. How often do we get stressed out about things beyond our control? Whether it's the weather, other people's actions, or global events, they worry about it. It's like trying to stop the waves with their hands. It's useless and exhausting. What we can control is our own actions, reactions, and decisions. This is where our strength lies. For example, you can't control if someone is rude to you, but you can choose patience over anger, understanding over retribution. This choice is your strength. To develop this habit, start with a simple exercise. Think about your day every evening and identify the moments where you are focused on things beyond your control. Then ask yourself how you could redirect that energy to something that you can control. This exercise will help you develop self-awareness and gradually redirect your focus to your circle of influence. This habit is not about passivity. It's about actively engaging in areas where you can have a real impact. It's about saving energy for actions that bring value to your life and the lives of others. By taking power over control, you step into a life of active positivity, where your focus determines your reality. Let's talk about morning reflections. This habit is to start your day with purpose and clarity. In Stoicism, morning is considered the key moment for setting the tone for the coming day. When you wake up every morning, take a few minutes to think quietly. It's not about scheduling tasks for the day, but about setting up an internal compass. Ask yourself, what virtues do I want to embody today? How will I face challenges in a way that is consistent with my values? It can be tolerance, courage, empathy, or any other quality that you want to develop. This practice is not only philosophical, it has practical advantages. When you start the day with a clear understanding of the goal, you are more focused and less reactive to external events. You are not just sailing with the flow of the day, you are steering your ship with intent. This morning ritual can be simple, a few minutes of quiet reflection, or writing in a diary. As you go through your day, keep returning to your morning reflections. They will serve you as a guiding star, helping you navigate through the ups and downs of life with dignity and resilience. 
by making morning reflections a daily habit. You are not just preparing for the day ahead, you are forming a mental platform that can change your life as a whole. Accepting discomfort is a stoic practice of recognizing the value of getting out of your comfort zone. Remember that growth often occurs in conditions of challenges and discomfort. Think about the moments when you feel hesitant or afraid to try something new or face a difficult situation. This feeling, although unpleasant, is often a sign of potential growth. Accepting discomfort means acknowledging these feelings, but not letting them hold you back. It's about accepting new opportunities, even if they scare you. It's about having difficult conversations, asking for feedback, trying something where there is a possibility of failure. Each of these actions stretches you, makes you more stable and fit. To practice this habit, start small. Every week, choose one thing that takes you out of your comfort zone a little bit. It can be anything from starting a conversation with a stranger to taking on a new responsibility at work. The key here is to approach such situations not with fear, but with curiosity and openness to learning. Remember, discomfort is something that should not be avoided, but should be accepted. It is at such moments that you find your strength and ability to change. By regularly encountering discomfort, you not only expand your boundaries, you redefine them by creating a life of courage and personal growth. The practice of gratitude. The stoic habit is to regularly acknowledge and evaluate what we have. Instead of focusing on what we lack, it is a powerful tool for transforming your thinking and improving your overall well-being. In Stoicism, gratitude is not only for big things, but also for small everyday moments. This is awareness and gratitude for a cup of coffee, a friend's smile, or the simple pleasure of a sunny day. These seemingly insignificant moments make a huge contribution to our feelings of happiness and contentment. To implement this practice in your life, try to keep a gratitude diary. Every evening, write three things that you were grateful for that day. They don't have to be great. Even the most ordinary details matter. This exercise switches your focus from what is going wrong to what is going right in your life. Another way to practice gratitude is to express it to others. A simple thank you to those who helped you. Thanking a friend or acknowledging hard work to a colleague can make a significant difference. This not only lifts the spirits of others, but also strengthens one's own feelings of gratitude. Regular practice of gratitude helps to form a mindset of abundance. This is not about ignoring the difficulties of life, but about a balanced approach to them with a conscious recognition of the good. It is a reminder that even in difficult times, there is always something to be grateful for. While you are discovering these vital habits, if you find value in what we're talking about, subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your participation helps us expand this community of modern Stoics. Also, let's continue the journey with mindfulness practice. This Stoic principle consists in being fully present in the present moment, without drowning in the past or suffering unnecessarily because of the future. A practice that brings clarity and deep value here and now. In a fast-paced world, it's easy to get lost in the endless stream of business. Often, by simply being, we either reflect on what happened yesterday or worry about what might happen tomorrow. Mindfulness brings us back from these distractions, chaining us to the present moment. To develop mindfulness, start with small daily practices, simply paying full attention to your feelings while eating, noting textures, tastes and smells, or it may involve a few minutes of silence every day. Contemplating your thoughts and breathing without judgment or attachments, Another powerful way to practice mindfulness is through your daily communication. When you talk to someone, pay full attention to it. Listen actively. Be completely there, not only physically, but also mentally and emotionally. By integrating mindfulness practice into your life, you not only improve peace of mind, but also deepen the ability to appreciate the richness of your life at every moment of its development. With the depth of our mindfulness practice, we naturally become more attentive to our inner dialogue. 
This leads us to constructive self-criticism, a stoic habit important for personal growth and self-improvement. This is an objective assessment of your actions and thoughts, not for self-deprecation, but for study and development. In Stoicism, self-criticism serves as a tool for improvement. It involves looking at your day, your decision, and interacting with a critical but compassionate eye. Ask yourself what I did well today, where I could improve, and how my actions can more closely match my values. It's not about dwelling on mistakes, but recognizing them as opportunities for growth. Constructive self-criticism is a delicate balance. It is important not to fall into the trap of harsh self-reflection. The goal is to be honest with yourself in a way that helps, not harms. One effective way to practice this habit is to meditate in the evening. Take a few minutes each evening to review your day. Think about the moments you are proud of and the ones you would like to change in the future. This practice not only provides insights for personal development, but also helps to close the previous day, allowing you to fall asleep peacefully, taking constructive self-criticism into your life, directing yourself to a more attentive and fulfilling life. From the practice of constructive self-criticism, it is logical to move on to lessons from everyone. This stoic habit consists in recognizing that wisdom can be found in every communication and from every person, regardless of their status or background. It's about being open to learning not only from obvious teachers, but from everyone we meet. From a stoic point of view, every person you meet has something they can teach you. It can be a colleague, a family member, or even a stranger. It's about active listening and careful observation. Understanding that everyone has their own unique experience and point of view that can offer valuable ideas to introduce this habit into your life. Start by setting your mind to curiosity in your conversations. Approach conversations with the intention of learning, not just responding. Ask questions. Strive to understand and be open to points of view that differ from your own. Another aspect of this practice is reflection at the end of the day. Think about the conversations you've had and what you've learned from them. Were there any moments that changed your mindset or made you think differently? This reflection helps consolidate your lessons and deepens your understanding of other people's diverse experiences. By practicing lessons from everyone, you develop a richer and more inclusive vision of the world. This habit not only improves your personal growth, but also strengthens your relationships and promotes a deeper sense of connection and empathy with those around you. Preparing to overcome difficulties is a stoic habit that involves the practice of preliminary reflection. It is a method of mental preparation for potential difficulties and setbacks. It's not about worrying. Rehearsal as a kind of mental rehearsal. Think about the possible difficulties you might face in your personal or professional life. How would you handle these situations? What resources will you need? What would be the best solution? This mental preparation helps to build confidence and reduce anxiety about the unknown. Another aspect of preparing to overcome difficulties is learning from past experiences. Think about the previous difficulties and what you learned from them, how you overcame them. What powers have you discovered in yourself? This reflection strengthens the confidence that you have the perseverance and resources to cope with future difficulties. By adopting the habit of preparing for difficulties, you not only prepare for possible difficulties, but also teach yourself to treat the challenges of life with a proactive and positive mentality. In conclusion, the evening review is a stoic practice of ending your day with a period of self-reflection and growth. This is a time to reflect on your actions, thoughts, and experiences of the day, and how they correspond to your stoic principles and personal goals. Evening review. This is a moment for pause and reflection away. Ask yourself, what good have I done today? Where have I experienced difficulties? And what can I learn from this experience? How did I live up to my values? This is not about excessive criticism or self-praise but about honest and constructive self-reflection. 
That practice helps you learn the patterns of your behavior, both positive and negative. It helps you see where you are progressing and where you need more attention to make the evening review the most effective. Find a quiet place where you will not be disturbed. You can write down your thoughts in a journal or just reflect mentally. The key is regularity. By making this a regular part of your evening ritual, you will provide yourself with a valuable tool for a personal development. By practicing evening review, you not only complete your day, but also set the stage for constant growth and self-improvement. It's a powerful way to keep yourself in harmony with stoic values and ensure that every day is a step towards becoming a better version of yourself. These 10 stoic habits are the path to owning a great life. Every day provides a new opportunity to practice, learn and grow. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Let's contribute to the development of a learning and growth community. Stay stoic. Good luck to everyone.